ladies and gentlemen, it's time, Stephen Fries! Yeah, X Factor. Outstanding, George Thank Clark. A man of much. many talents. Some of them just behind closed doors, Stephen. Oh, the um, sex factor. Yes, we get oh, pounded on the X, table, X, yeah? X Factor. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> oh, that's what he normally does at XXX Factor. <laughs> <laughs> I've loosened the wrong hole too much. Sorry. <laughs> we just get him to watch the show. Did you watch a lot of X Factor when you were younger? I was into Pop Idol, which was before it. Show my age here. Gareth Gates and Will Young, maybe they were in it. That was the big, who's going to win, Gareth Gates and yeah. Will Young. Gareth Gates lost his virginity to Katie Price. Right, uh, X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> that was his sub story. I got f***ed <laughs> by Katie Price. You can't bloody sing, mate. Right, can I have a microphone now? It's an interesting choice, like rock metal vibe. <laughs> Things used to kick off big style. They actually did. It's so shit now, the auditions. I know, before the whole mental health thing became the real pandemic, as we say off camera. Before that came into it. They used to just say whatever to these people, you know? No holds barred. Security, step in if we have to. Yeah, Simon Cowell has changed a lot. He's literally a different man these days. He died ten years ago. It's just a robot with his skin. It's just a puppet now. I've got the stage presence, I've got the voice, I've got the looks, and I just have everything, and I know I have. Wow. <laughs> I fucking love that they've put the Matrix <laughs> music behind her. <laughs> what I want to know is this group behind her. Is that like a little pop trio? Little. I think she's in a wheelchair. The men in vests. It's a diverse group. But she's leading the way. <laughs> My minions shall follow. No, the people in wheelchairs are minions, by the way. Not all disabled people. All, all of them behind no, keep her. Talking. Keep talking. <laughs> More like the sleigh tricks in that lovely purple shirt. Nice. Go on, Queen. Do you know what I've just realised? What? She's talking about all this. How she She's got everything. You can see her name in the bottom left hand corner. Debbie Stevens. We've got tickets to watch Debbie Stevens. <laughs> Stage with millions and millions of people screaming at me that loud that I can't even hear myself sing. Debbie! Hey, shut up. Who invited you? I'm working here. <laughs> nag, 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 I don't come nag. here when you're manning the phones and screaming your ear, do I? Stand on the X, please. Your name is? Debbie Stevens. And Debbie, why are you here today? Because I've got the X Factor, I know I can win, and I've just got it, basically. Really? Yeah. Who are the pe I always wonder this. Who are the people that have told her that she's good at... I know... For, we haven't even listened to her sing yet. But who's told her? Who's amped her up to this I don't. Level? I don't think she needs anybody. It seems like she hasn't socialised. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. So she's never, what, just she's never the spoken skin to tone. anybody. She's got that Discord tan. So, Deborah, what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing When You Believe by Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey. Okay. Right. Wow. T two of the biggest singers of all time. And Debbie Stevens is going to take them on. I like it. Did you see the crepes? They were. Well, they were crepes. Damn, Debbie. <laughs> Taking them off uh, like a freebie from a hotel. With black shoe polish. Gone over them. They'll never know. There can be miracles when you believe. She's a better singer than I am. She would win a lot of school talent contests. I'll, I'll give her that. Granted, she is much older than a lot of the contestants. Debbie, we've told you you can't come in with the kids. Debbie Stevens. We can achieve. Oh, she spotted the shoes. Sharon has spotted the shoes. Like she's holding in sick. Or oh, she shit herself. <laughs> I don't know what that face is. Someone cut Sharon's mic. We can hear her following through. Thank you, Deborah. What should that Ooh, it's Debbie, Debbie um, by the way, Louis. <laughs> Debbie, uh, actually. I don't, I don't call you Lubra, do I, Louis? You've got no star quality about you. There's no charisma. <laughs> I don't know. She could be a good role in the Adams Family. I could see her fitting, in, fitting into that star role pretty well. One of the Death Eaters in Harry Potter. She's got it, my guy. <laughs> Give me your best Potter. No charisma. Yeah, I agree with Sharon. A bit pub singerish, I thought. Really? Yeah. That, that's what I love about Simon in these early ones. He just comes out with the most rogue. It's so true, though. <laughs> you stink as well, by the way, Debbie. You smell like the pub, too. Throws a can of Old Spice at head. Use it. Deborah, the reality is you're not very good. Now, you know what? You were the one, per one person I didn't want to see today because I really want to slap you now. But you do it, Debbie. Do singer. it. I'm not a good singer. What a fucking rogue thing to say. Going on a show where you know he's going to be there. Oh, Fuck. oh, of course you're here, you little Irish twat. Fucking Lubra. <laughs> you are the one person I didn't want to see. My ass cheek still stings, you bastard. That's why I've been a singer since I was six year old, and everyone I've ever met, people who don't even like me, have come up to me and told me I've got an amazing voice. You can't bloody yeah. sing, mate. People who don't even like her. Three people that tried to firebomb my house said my vocals were gorgeous as 
I scream for help. She's just like mid-road rage. She just, just goes, oh, I can tell you don't like me. Do you mind just give me some feedback? I don't want to be a saint. I don't really care what you think. You can't sing. You have no talent. Get out. All right, Louis. Oh, ho, 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 ho. how the turntables with Debbie Stevens. Oh, you get out of it. That's such a funny thing to say. Leave. Get out of it. You're not going to boot camp. Go home, Louis. I am home. Sharon decides to remove her from the room. But Debbie's not finished yet. Oh, really? Sharon comes back in. <laughs> She's gone mental. <laughs> They're just slagging off Louis out there. He is a little dwarf, isn't he? I was hoping not to see him today as well. I want to throw your water on him. Debbie storms back in. I, I want to throw your water on him. She smashed the glass. Stevens! That just wouldn't be allowed anymore. You, like, you wouldn't get a, a judge of throwing the water over a contestant. I think with Louis Walsh, it's allowed, you know. Because it's, it's him. We all knew what was going on there. I really want to throw your water on him, Sharon. Then goes yeah, back in there. at least go for the surprise. She's sprinting and going, I'm going to throw some water at you, Louis! I wanted to see how it was going to work. A little bit of water cooler chat. Yes, uh, bit of a, a bit of a weird day, you know. Had a bit of diarrhea because of the nerves. Woof, wow, Louis. But she was thinking of the line. More like, more like Louis Wash. Bah. Nice. <laughs> you threw water over a contestant. Yes, before she did it to me. Accidentally gets a bit on Simon. His body just goes. I will be an international superstar in years to come because I have got what it takes. And I is this from Snog Marry Avoid? Looks like she's in the pod. I want people to hear me sing. When I first saw it, I thought she seems sweet. She must be like yeah. the partner of someone who's going to go mental. Then you saw the way her mouth moved, and it was oh god, this is a dangerous lady. <laughs> the way her mouth. <laughs> just, just watch the way she speaks. It's she speaks with time. purpose. My voice is big. It's powerful, and I don't look like the kind of person that would have that voice. It's time to show. That off. She's like the substitute teacher you get and you dread because she thinks she's a teacher. Yeah, yeah. That's, this is for you all you substitute teachers out there. You're not a real teacher. <laughs> get a real job. Dermot hasn't oh. aged much. Oh, you? Ooh, Cheryl. Sorry. Cheryl Cole and Danny Minogue. And she knows she wasn't the first choice. Did you, did you call my sister by any chance? No. Oh, Danny, we went straight for what you. What happened was they didn't have Kylie's number. They messaged Danny and they were like, we're looking for an X Factor judge. Second message didn't send. Can you tell your sister? I've only got one tick on a WhatsApp. What does that mean? Hey, Danny, do you have Debbie Stevens' number by any chance? And I've learnt the art of performance doing jobs I don't want to do. But it means I get to wake up every damn morning and say I do what I love for a living. Oh, she's terrifying. No, yeah, she is quite scary. Imagine being a manager and she walks in with a receipt in her hand. You just give her the store at that point. Bring on that pecan pie. Put some sugar on it, sugar, don't be... 23! No, she's 23. not. 23! I am as old as this woman. Put some sugar on it, sugar, don't be shy. Scoop me up. I've got a fun, juicy little fact, actually. I was told by a, a man who I believe would be in the know, it's in his contract, to make expressions that the camera can cut on. So if you're, if you're performing in front of Simon Cowell, he's just going to be pulling different faces for like he's thumbnails, doing basically. Yeah, he's doing thumbnail faces. Just imagine seeing him doing that. Has Simon just packed a 95 team in the season Ronaldo? <laughs> like a human statue that's changing position, just like... When judges you look like the hell parade. <laughs> Better than Debbie Stevens, I'll give her that. What would you do if you performed what you thought was your God-given talent? There was just a really awkward pause and they just started laughing. In my world, that was comedy. If they started laughing after a long <laughs> silence, that's just me thinking, what a clever joke, Stephen. <laughs> I had to unpackage that one. So it's been an hour. It's not that clever, guys. Come on. Uh, right, Holly, uh, your mouth is far, far too big when you sing. <laughs> your mouth is far too big for your face. Your whole outfit, I'm not a fan. Taking the piss out of just a hurt. Holly, you could pleasure a rugby team all at once. Get out of here. Holly, you could bite an apple for offence. Uh, it's not really going to work. I mean, it was like looking into a cave. I've never <laughs> seen anything so huge in my life. So why would I keep getting employed if I'm as bad as you're saying? Please answer me that. Because, because you also mop up piss in the toilets serial. and serve potatoes at lunchtime. <laughs> Sings whilst she's mopping. It's not part of the job. Holly, we've got a spillage over here. Can you just get your mouth over it, please? You know what? Maybe you should take up, like, preaching or speeching or... <laughs> 
because that part of it was oh, great. Oh, Cheryl, you should have stopped after the first bit. You sounded a little bit clever, then you added in speeching. Yeah, you could do your preaching, your speeching, your teaching, <laughs> um, bleaching. It's four nose. What, we're going to find out, Louis? No. Cheryl? No, sorry. Danny? Yeah, you were right. <laughs> He's such a bastard. Oh, we don't know yet. We might we might have a few yeses. No, it turns out you were right. Yeah. You could be a psychic as well as one of those uh, speeching. Those are careers for you, Holly. I have got the wow factor. She has got 100% star quality. She will go places. There is so much to take in. And I don't mean giving <laughs> old daddy a suck job here. I'm on about the Winnie the Pooh tattoo on her arm. Why has she put the number on her arm as well? Draw attention to the tattoo, mate. When you're inked up like that, you've got to show it off. She's got the, the Diamante Playboy bunny. I think the best bit is she's got the hairstyle that all the boys had in 2012. I look like David Beckham, don't I? I will shout, Simon, who's the biggest and who's the best? And that, that I will win this. Now, Marawa. She talks like a young Conor McGregor. Not an accent wise, just the words, you know. Go for it. Do your best, please. Hello. Slapping her. How are you? <laughs> Come on, love. Go on. The corner men in a boxing fight. Go on. Get out there. Twat him. Use your jab. Use your jab, love. Get that Winnie the Pooh flying. Hey, uh, hi, Louis. How you doing? Okay, what's your name, darling? Kelly Norfolk. And why are you here? Her name's Kelly Awful. Kelly Norfolk. What's your name? Kelly, I'm awful. <laughs> Had a very judgmental priest every Christmas. And how would you mark yourself out of ten in terms of vocals? Ten out of ten. Good. What do you got? Nice. Gonna I will always love you. She'll make you cry. Thank you. What's she going to do? Stand on him. How old oh, I thought the grandma was plugging her ears then. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, she's doing it again. Can you just let me know when she's, she stopped? She wasn't told that they were going to an audition. She's like, we are going to the chip shop, right? This is the chippy we're going to. And I Aww. will always love you. Ooh, yeah. Well, I Sounds like somebody who's getting in a bath that's too hot. Love you. Love you. Thank you. You, don't, you haven't got a 10 out of 10 voice. At best, I would give you two and a half. Thank you very much. And that's, that's being Kelly. generous. That's Danny? my answer when uh, girls say, how big is it? I say, at best, I'll give you two and a half. At worst, I mean, you, you're going to have to dig it out, basically. It's just not as good as you think it is. So it's a what? It's a no. No, okay. not for me. No. <laughs> I think I'm being penalised because he just wants to get out. He's not giving anybody a chance. He, it seems to me very... What is the logic behind that? He's going to give an answer, yes or no. He wants to go home. He wants to go home. The cheeky bugger. He just, just walks out. His, yeah, he just hopped in his car when I was in there. He wants to get out. He wants to go to the pub, basically. Hell of an assumption. He wants to go to the pub and then get off with one of the blokes he's been eyeing up for weeks and keep it a secret from his wife. But she already knows because she gets off with him as well. Carry <laughs> Celine Dion. And that sounded like Lassie. Oh, what <laughs> else? It sounds like the Incredibles syndrome's about to walk in. That was an end on the end of that before you jump to any conclusions. How do you do? I'm a dad, a father. What's your name? Peter. 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 She was I absolutely just... terrible. In... Might get his name to tell him his daughter's shit. What's your name, sorry? Peter. Yeah, Peter, your daughter's shit. <laughs> your daughter's a Peter shit, yeah? Have you got, have you, have you, have you got a heart? Yes. Well, we, 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 we are near heart. I've also got a brain. Ooh, subliminal messaging. Did you see that? I've also got a brain. I've also got two eyes. A whole load of hair up here. And what have I got in my back pocket? This. Now, fuck off. Kelly, reality check. It's a you All you want to do is just go on, don't you? Oh, I forgot this bloody brute. He looks like uh, the alien off Stitch. That's not a real face. Thank you. Don't push me on walk. Okay, come I will shout you, Simon. Thank you. Simon, you are... Don't push me on walk. Call him a wanker. You're rude. Very, very rude. Very rude. Thank you. <laughs> the nan still got her fingers in her ears. <laughs> it's finished now. Come on. Cuts to like 8 p.m. Lights are all out. <laughs> She's just there. <laughs> Someone let me know when it's done. Are you a duo? Oh, this is your daughter-in-law. Oh, I thought it was Austin Powers. Oh, oh why, why are you with her? Is she any good? Well, I think so. Really? Okay. You've yeah. ruined this for me now, saying Austin Powers. Lorraine, have you got the X Factor? I have. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm with you once more under the stars. <laughs> that face is so funny. What would you do if that's just staring at you? 
<laughs> that would make me laugh so much more. A lot of these were like sort of set up or encouraged by producers. No producer is thinking up this mental shit. He was a scarecrow for 60 years. It was a bit lifeless. <laughs> what did you think? Like. Speaking of lifeless, would you buy her record? Yes. yes. A bit biased. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. I'm saying no. I'm gonna have to say no, Lorraine. Listen, Lorraine's actually taking it really well. Lorraine hasn't heard a word. What? Where do I go for the live shows? She walks off a field, she's just got a hearing aid that's not been on the whole time. Simon, yes or no? I'm absolutely, I'm afraid, gonna have to say no, Lorraine. Like me at the the quiche buffet. <laughs> the quiche buffet. How white can you be, George? Have we got catering for the party? Only the quiche buffet. Where are we? What did I do? You laughed. I always you laugh. You when you didn't realise that's what people were meant to do at your stand-up shows. Hang on. You laughed. Chicken factory now. Uh, pick a chick for about um, two and a half years. Unrelated question. Where do you think Ricky Gervais has got the... Inspiration for Derek. <laughs> what I like is how these auditions are always packed with people. <laughs> He's fucking alone. <laughs> Instead of his family and friends waiting outside, it's just a little coop of chickens. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Good cluck. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, Robert Unwin. And what do you do? Uh, I work in a chicken factory. Good. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> That's such a funny response to that. Good. He's not using chickens to make food products. He's building chickens. Do you think you've got the X factor? No, he's got the eggs factor. Tell what the X factor is. All right. <laughs> Sorry, did you hear? Yeah. You I don't know. I'm not quite sure what the X factor is. All right. <laughs> that means he's got it. Oh, I've lost my mind. I can't. Uh, I'll just do the chorus. <laughs> he's, he's just made the weirdest noise. I've Oh, sorry, so sorry. I'm sure you're enjoying that. I, I've just, you know, I've forgotten the words. I'll just, I'll just go to a bit though now. Tragedy when the feeling's gone, you can't go on. It's tragedy when the morning flies, you don't know why it's hard to bear with no one to love you. You're going nowhere. I like the voice. I'm just not sure about the whole package. <laughs> Did you mean the whole pack? Oh, my trousers are down. Sorry. <laughs> just feathers coming out of his pants. <laughs> <panic. laughs> competition like this. There's right, so many so people with a voice like yours, I've got to tell you. I think you've got a really good voice. Just gaslighting him to make him think he's got a good voice. He wants another performance, and we're going to get it, God damn it. I'm borderline on this one, Simon. Because I do like <laughs> your voice. <laughs> no. I've got to tell you, he blew it on the interview. <laughs> it's a real shame. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Real so shame. Mean. I swear he sings another song. Okay. I can carry on working in a chicken factory, so there's always that. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be on time. It's not all bad news. I've still got the chicken factory. Dermot's there going, Oh, sorry, man. Like, oh, don't worry about it. I've got a chicken factory. I feel bad for you. I've seen winners of the X Factor look less excited. I get to go back to the chicken factory. He doesn't Ask care him about to it. come back. Chicken man! To come back because, <laughs> you know, as you a bit of a split panel here. Do you know what Louis said when you left the room? What was that oh, smell? You, you, you wouldn't get to Cologne, you wouldn't get to Berlin. I don't think you care enough. I, no, you don't know me. The police have a big file on me, though. <laughs> I know that was just. Oh, no, 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 you don't know me, so. Louis, you're a stranger to me, yeah? I don't know why you're jumping to you don't actually know me. If you want to turn up, great. If you don't, fair enough. But come back again tomorrow. Oh, another day off from the chicken factory. That's cruel. Be back. What are you going to sing? Aqua Barbie Girl. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Life in plastic. It's fantastic. You can push my hair and dress me everywhere. Do you reckon he's top dog at the chicken factory? I reckon it is just him in the chicken factory <laughs> and one other chicken. I'll catch you one day. <laughs> come on, Barbie. Let's go party. I'd love, to, I'd love to imagine for the Barbie film, they must have gone through everything... Barbie and at one point they've come across this clip and Ryan Gosling is watching this. This Ken is weird. Mm. Wrong choice of song. You're gonna need a lot of work. When people hear me when I go to a different karaoke that I've never been to, I get applause and that and it is genuine obviously when you're on a karaoke. It's less applause, more a ruffle of feathers, but you know. I am not a number, I'm a human being. Finally, an anarchist has entered the X Factor. I'm not a number, I used to be a mop. So I was a little bit um Confused as to what to sing to you. So I thought, all oh, right, little something. I would be fucking terrified if she was speaking to me. Tell me what you are again. A holistic vocal coach. Right. Uh, what does that mean? I'm a vocal coach. I work holistically. I work in Hollister. I'm a YouTuber. What does that mean? I post videos on YouTube. Could you stand on the X, please, Ariel? Is there a problem with that? No. But can I get on with singing, please? Jesus Christ. Yes. 
Cheryl's getting ready to go old nightclub toilet on her. I got the super sexy swingy thing that you just can't ignore. You wanna hear some metal? You wanna hear me roar? I got the ass back to so show me your stage That's note was quite good. I've seen this clip just so many times, but she went on thinking that would make him go unbelievable. If I came to you for holistic vocally, I would be scared of you. You're actually really quite scary. You've obviously never been a rock singer, love. No. Have you heard Parachute? <laughs> Pretty rock and roll, baby. Sound of the underground, my fair lady. That shit rocks. Everything, even even the it hair. a song. The piece that I have just performed to you. He can't go after the hair. He looks like someone's taking a fucking garden <laughs> strimmer to the sides of his. They're taking two set squares and just put them on his head. This will do for the next 25 years. What my voice can do. We didn't like it. Shove a lot of metal. Right that was the C word. What the fuck? Her delivery was very anime-esque. It sort of reminded me of KSI doing a press conference. I was um, an apprentice jockey. Um, a what? An apprentice jockey. A disc jockey? No, a racing jockey. You're right, you're right, Japonese. It's just different to somebody who was a jockey. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Did you hear her whole outfit, like, squeaking as she went to reach into her pocket? It's made out of the skin of the last horse she rode. And losing at this game. Sorry, I'm going to ask Louis to leave the room. I love that Louis giggling, how shit she is, made her giggle. So tired of broken hearts and losing at this game. Sharon, Louis, leave the table, please. Why? Because she's trying to sing Madonna. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love that this poor girl's just stood in the whole time. She's now getting judged by two people who, let's be honest, know she's not going to make it through. She's absolutely cooking in that jacket as well. And you make me feel good, oh baby. I perish the thought. No, it's exactly the same. Danny, you should leave as well. I'm not be I don't want to be mean, but Danny looked like she was just forcing herself to laugh then because everyone else is doing yeah, it. Yeah, she just wants to go home and go to the pub. <laughs> Yeah, she, she fucking looked it again or... No. <laughs> Maybe next year. <laughs> Maybe next year. Right, I think we should call this a day. And I think we should call this a day. Yeah, X Factor. Boom. <laughs> Loved it. If you enjoyed, give us a like, subscribe. Subscribe to Steven. You probably have already done it. <laughs> and tell you what, comment down below what you want us to look at. Well, there's a few things that Steven's not allowed to look at anymore, but I doubt there'll be things that would be allowed, allowed on the internet anyway. So, bye-bye. Pictures of me naked. Stand next to Dawn. Link me.